right guys back here at the trailer um, I got pretty much the IBC totes all connected and done up here I'll just go over it with you um, I couldn't find anything that I could just cut in and just gear clamp to go to to run my plumbing a plumbing line to the urinal washing machine and the kitchen so what I did was I just grabbed a street 90 inch and a half put a T on and this height is still above everything that's going to be over here which is good so that will work I'm going to just go off of this t off of this T next I put in an extra shutoff valve now this one has a check valve built in it which is right here and it only allows water to flow this way straight down and this is a ball valve so you turn this and then that is closed so that should be emergency backup in case the tote one fails or if I'm doing some kind of filling one and not the other type of deal so I'll open that back up then to connect the two I went from down from uh, this is actually I had to go up to two inch for the shutoff valve then back down to inch and a half so I reduced down and then this one connects in with a, a T and then a street 90 and then up to two inch again and then another check valve in here and the flow only goes this way and then this is also another shutoff so this is basically going to go to um, I'm going to say this is going to go into uh, probably into a pump 12 volt pump or something and that will move uh, water around for my shower I believe that's the only thing I'm going to be using that for pretty much because this is going to be gra gravity fed for all my other uses and this one will be just for my shower so uh, that should work and also um, let's say I ran out of water in my for everything my everyday use well the shower is going to be everyday too but I'm going to use more water out of here than the, probably the shower because cooking, washing dishes, washing clothes, etc., etc. So, in case this one gets a little too low and I got plenty in the bottom, I can pump back up and fill this one up a bit. That way, it'll get me by until I get these uh, totes filled up again. And I can fill them from the top. So, basically, I'm guessing through the window. If I get water delivered, I'll run a hose through the window from their tanker. Fill this top one up. Make sure these are all open. Make sure this is isolated before that even happens. And that one. Um, so, basically fill the top up, fill the bottom up, make sure that's closed, make sure that's open. That will fill the entire uh, thing up. Um, well, actually, no, it won't because of the check valve. So the flow will only go down. It won't go back up, which is good in case flooding going on here. So basically what I would have to do is fill the top one up um, and then just let it go into the bottom one and just watch my level. Then shut that off, shut that off and then that's locked in place and that's good to go hopefully that makes sense so that's the good news guys um, I got a little more work done uh, it turned out okay I thought I still have some space for storage in behind here for toilet paper and stuff like that um, now the bad news um, I did uh, work a little bit lately made a hundred bucks but um, before I went gung-ho on the trailer 
I invested a good portion of my money at the bank and it's locked in for a year. So I can't take it out until July. So that leaves me July, August, September, and then we're back into fall and winter weather. So I don't think I'm going to be doing the solar this year because I don't have enough money in my other account that I'm using for batteries, which I need for the solar. So, unless I get a ton of work before July or sooner, and that money will definitely go in, into this project, into the batteries. Um, there, I think total, I'm going to start off with five of the deep cycles. I put them on the Facebook group, the picture and the information. Um, I'm going to start with five. That's probably going to cost me like 1200 bucks. So, and then I can also double them up after the fact with another five. That way I get my battery expansion up. Um, but that's later in the future. Um, I moved the aerial. I bent all the rods back in because that's how it was packaged. Um, and then uh, uh, my friend there on YouTube, uh, high tech guy, um, he's been commenting and giving me tips and all kinds of good useful information. Um, he mentioned that my trailer is a Faraday cage. And if you guys don't know what that is, you can Google it, but I'll just give you a little basic rundown. Um, my trailer, when I cut into it uh, way back in some of my earlier videos, when I cut in the windows and stuff, you saw I had uh, on the out outside shell is all metal aluminum. I think it's aluminum. Yeah, painted steel or aluminum. Then an inch of wood, plywood, um, and then another on this on this side of it. Let's see if I can show you. Is there any spots that has it still? Probably not. But anyway, there's another layer. So basically I'm inside of a metal shell. So he mentioned that, well this end, if I leave this antenna in here, and strap it to the ceiling, that ain't gonna work because it ain't gonna get a signal. Because a Faraday cage blocks out a lot of uh, uh, EMF, electromagnetic fields. I would imagine it does, anyway. Like so, I'm pretty sure that's how that runs. I'm not quite sure, but don't quote me on that. Um, so basically, um, I'm gonna have to throw this up on the roof and then basically this will turn the entire trailer on the outside into a big antenna. So I'll have maybe some more channels, who knows. But I'll do that sometime. I'm not worried about that right now because I have no power. And right now my bank investment is threatening to uh, me not to be able to have um enough money to get the batteries going and in turn once the batteries are hooked up i can go throw the solar panels on the roof hook those up and we can be off grid but that's not going to happen until july unless work picks up so that really sucks probably let down much people because i wanted to see the solar this year but that's the way it is now the other thing um, land. I'm renting. I don't have, this isn't my property, so I can't throw a, a, a slanted roof on here and throw the panels on, on a slant. I'd love to, because then I could catch rainwater and my solar would be properly positioned. But for now, guys, until I get land, my panels are going to be laying flat all the way along this roof. No angle whatsoever. So that's just another heads up on that. So the solar is kind of in jeopardy right now, guys. Um, unless I get a ton of work and a ton of money comes in. Um, other than that, uh, I just got some seeds ready. I got some 
I showed you all that stuff in my, when I brought all that stuff over. Um, there's the stand in the light. Um, I still have to do the platform across the bottom here for added support and um, that's where all the stuff is going to sit on that platform and then I'll have space underneath as well. So I got to do that still. I got to reinflate the top bed. I got to bring that inverter back over here and do that. Right now I have that poster of that girl on the floor. I have a world, uh, map of the world um, uh, that was all rolled up. So I'm leaving that there to weigh down the, the poster of the world so it will uh, straighten out for me. Um, I've been, uh, le yeah, let's see. So yeah, I won't have any money to spend really until July when I get money out of the bank again, out of my investment. It was a good investment at the time. Made a couple hundred bucks so far, probably will make a couple hundred more, but it delays the project here, guys. So sorry about that. I kind of did that investment before I started. So it's not like I ran over budget or anything, but um, it's just uh, I put a ton of money into that investment, like the maximum you can, and uh, it turned out well, but now it's kicking me. So that's the bad news, but I will continue to make videos, get all, everything ready in here for uh, as much as I can for livable uh, decorating getting the kitchen all done up I gotta get all these these plain white walls I'm gonna decorate up up with a bunch of stuff um, I'm gonna get the shower done this summer still it's right here I'm waiting for good temperatures uh, it's showing let's see 40 just above 40 with high humidity still it's comfortable in here. I can see my breath a little bit. And remember, this is springtime. So I don't know about that. It, oh, it's been raining out, guys. So let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, look at that. Water all over the place. And more mud. Wonderful. So yeah, I'm going to have the shower to do still. The urinal's going to be hooked up. Um, washing machine will be on hold until I have power in here full time. I won't even uh I won't even buy that until I'm out here living and all that. Um I can do I can finish running the plumbing off of that guy to feed the urinal, the washing machine and the kitchen. Um get all that stuff done there's a ton of stuff to do still guys but it's coming along um, get the bed all fixed up and all that goody stuff and I'm gonna mail I'm gonna build a maybe a bookcase and um, some other stuff to use up all this material um, might as well because I paid for it and I won't have any money to buy any more materials Unless I get a ton of work coming in, so not to bitch and moan, but that's the way it is sometimes. So uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, the uh, plumbing is done on the totes, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna let that uh, dry for a couple days and uh, make sure it's totally cured and good to go. Um, it's been. Um, I'm gonna say a week since I used the nature's head toilet still no smells at all so I'm wondering if I even need the fan I'm thinking maybe in the summertime the smells will be bet worse I'm not sure on that I'm just guessing because of the heat heat factor but this is excellent I highly recommend these um, I won't open it and show you anything because then YouTube might get crazy on me or something. So, 
All right, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, work in progress. Uh, big delay on the solar now. Maybe not even till next year. But as soon as early next year and I have the money out, boom, I can hit, get the batteries in here, get those wired, get the solar on, and then go from there. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. See you later.